G'day guys. Hi everybody. So we've got Diesel here today and Diesel is up for adoption. He's been at the farm here for about six weeks now. Six to eight weeks, yeah. And he's doing really, really well. He's a he's a Kelpie cross border collie. Yeah. We had him DNA tested and that's what he came back as. Mostly Kelpie. Mostly think, Kelpie, yeah. Maybe 75% Kelpie, I think and it then, was. Uh, and a little bit of border collie. A little bit of there. border collie. He's five years old. Yeah. So he's a mature boy. He's not a puppy anymore. No. Not an adolescent. No, he's um, a mature dog, so he's quite responsible. We think that his most suitable home uh, would be definitely one with some space. Yeah. Like it doesn't need to be a big acreage. No. But no. we do feel like he would need. He needs. Um, he needs a backyard to run around yeah. and look in the trees and. That's right. Watch he just needs a little past. bit of space to run. Yeah. Because that's his favourite thing, is and running. That's right. Um, he, and he, he can cover a lot of ground, but he's he's all right in a smaller yard. Yeah. Like he's happy to, so long as he can see the birds and run back and forth and, yep. you know, stimulate himself. Yeah. That's all he wants. Yeah. You wouldn't need to be home all of the time. I don't think that that's a requirement um, for him. No. Nah. Um, no, no. That's he right. would that's be the happy point. to. If he's got the space. That's right. He, he'll just check in yeah. with you at meal times. <laughs> so I mean, goodness, we keep going back to the whole. You know, he's such low maintenance, but he really, truly is. Like you, you could go to work and he'd exercise himself yeah. while you went to work, and then he'd be very happy to see you when you came home. Mm. You know. We think that he would do well in pretty much most, if not all, households. Yeah. As in either no dogs, one dog, two or three dogs, four dogs. We're a very unusual yeah. um, household. Situation here. Uh, we have 20 dogs and often it, <laughs> it is very crowded. Yeah, it can isn't get a little it? bit overcrowded. And he is... You know, he's a more mature boy and hey, um, the crowding does make him a bit anxious. Whilst he is, you know, very well um, coexisting with the other pack members, um, which means we have no concern with him living with other dogs. No. It's just that um, he doesn't want to, no. you know. And at the end of the day, that's always been our, our biggest thing here is, you know, what's best for the dog. And, you know, Diesel tells us that he would prefer a home with a few less dogs in it. You know, and it's not much to ask. <laughs> we, there is like 20 of them here. Yeah. It's a very large number. So we are on the lookout for a more suitable home for yeah. Diesel. He definitely deserves it, don't he you, does. mate? Does. So even though Diesel's only been here for a bit over six weeks, uh, his training commands are really sharp and impressive. You know, it's something that just shows how intelligent he is and how easy it is for him to learn new tricks. So he's got all these basic commands down, he does, doesn't yeah. he? Yep, absolutely he's he does. He's very sharp on those. Yep. What What are some of the things that he knows, all the, all the important ones? Yeah, so uh, walking on lead, uh, sitting, drop, he shakes hands, he ignores uh, distractions when in those commands. He, he does really, really well yep. and he, he picks it up really fast. Pretty good job, buddy. Diesel, he's up for adoption. He is. He's looking for his perfect home. He's a really beautiful boy and he really very much deserves his yeah. own loving home. Oh, but yeah. Don't you, mate? Boy, mate. Yeah, yeah, sure does. Hey? So you don't have to share your humans with so many other dogs. Yeah. Good boy, buddy. And he really wants to go chase some birds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so right, we'll yeah, guys. Wrap it up. <laughs> See you there.